Hello, everybody. It's the coach. This is Madden 20 on EA Sports. We're just about set to get started, and this ought to be a good one between the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Cincinnati Bengals. I'll be back with you again with scores around the league at halftime, but kickoff right around the corner. And standing by to call the action, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach. Well, with the Ohio River and the hills of Kentucky just to our right, we welcome you into Paul Brown Stadium in Cincinnati, Ohio. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Cincinnati Bengals. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. It's the final three weeks of the season. Still plenty to play for here as we're underway in week 15. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. Got it all the time trying to hone that fine edge. They want to see if they can get in sync and stay in sync in this one. First carry for James Conner. And that's not the start that he was looking for. Every year is trying to make sure they draft people charged with trying to block J.J. Watt. So far, Hasn't been too successful. They'll be brought down on the 30-yard line. They open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. On the draw, Connor. And they're going to get him down well short of the first. Watch the screen. Watch the screen. Watch the screen. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's dropped just shy of the 25. The first carry now for Benny Snell. Oh, he shifts past him. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Looking to throw on second down. Kendall, this one grabbed by A.J. Green. They'll go with Snell here on first down. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. to throw on second down. Kendall, nowhere to escape. Back to throw, Kendall. That's complete to John Ross. They'll run on first down. Snell, and that one blown up quickly. On second down, it's Snell. A game there of 30 big ones. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he will take it on in for a Bengals touchdown. These teams are going to go from each conference, and guess what? We're going to have a playoff. A nerve-wracking for the people. Hit from behind, and he's going to be driven down. J.J. Watt. I don't know if that was the case here, but the end result was the same. No one fooled. The quarterback was hit. Looking to throw. Donaldson, complete to Washington. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. The against him. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. On second down, Connor looking for space. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. And it starts with the guys up front. So when you talk with GMs or putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside. And he's going to go down. He backed up into the end zone, and this is going to wind up a safety. Starting the drive with Snell. And he'll take it forward for about five up to the 28-yard line. And this whole line, it is the lifeblood of the offense. They established the tone. Mean, nasty, physical. Second and five. 
That's caught by the tight end, Drew Sample. That one, a first down pick. On first down, Snell. And forget about finding a lane. Looking to throw on second down, Kendall. He'll find Paris Campbell, that's complete. And getting this just shy of midfield. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll get this one across midfield. To throw on second down. Kendall, Green brings it in. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. They'll run on first down. Snell. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Looking to throw on second down. Kendall, Campbell making the catch. Operating from the gun. Kendall going to throw deep for the end zone. Back of the end zone. Could he get his feet down? No. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through. 50, 50 to Mike. 50 to Mike. Here we go. Here we go. On first down, Donaldson. That'll be caught by his tight end, Ian Thomas. But he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. And the running lanes non-existent. They kept extra DBs on the field, despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out, but I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration. Just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him even if he has an elite defender on him because he usually knows where the ball is. He's got a running back of this size, of these dimensions. I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half. Just one for three thus far. This is third and 11. Off play action, Donaldson. And the throw there gonna be incomplete. On first and 10, Kendall. Catch made here by Campbell. The ball comes out, and it's picked up by the Steelers. A sheet now from the coordinator, because he's looking down at that and saying, OK, do I put him in different spots? Do I try and isolate him? What routes do I run? You're exactly right. They've got to get the ball in his hands and get their offense kick-started. He does have the two catches, but pretty quiet so far. Don't you think that when every team gets together for the first time, I don't care if it's OTAs, mini camps, first and first day of camp in the regular season, ball security comes up about what, the second sentence of the coach's yeah. address? And those are so many drills focus on that. All the time, and they do drills to make it even tougher to simulate game situations. Doesn't always work out, though. On second down now, Snell. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. It's a Bengal first down. They'll run on first down with Singletary. So he got free of one tackle, but couldn't do a whole lot else. Off the bootleg, Kendall. Flush to his right, and now he's going to use his legs. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. They run the counter. Snell. Seven yards on the pick. Off the play fake. Kendall. And that'll be incomplete. They'll run it now out of the gun. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. Meeting the tough yards, they run it with their fullback. And boy, this is going to be close. That mark looks a little short. Well, their first fourth down attempt earlier was successful. This one backfires for a turnover on downs. I like their aggressiveness. I like what they're doing. They got it the first time they went for it. Why not a second time? Any fourth down stop is a big momentum play. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, 
be able to hit a receiver in stride. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. This time, they stay on the ground. And he's taken down. 41 to Mike, 41 to Mike. Throwing on first down. Donaldson, Thomas has got it, complete. It'll be a gain of 17. The final shot before break. Donaldson. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. So we come upon halftime and what's a 12-point game at the break. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, time for a sprint to the finish as it's time to get you caught up with what's happening around the NFL here in a pivotal Week 15. We'll begin our tour up at First Energy Stadium in Cleveland, and it's the Browns who have the lead late in the first half. Baker Mayfield with a couple of touchdown passes. From there, it's off to Chicago. Check on the Bears at home at Soldier Field, and they have the lead in that one over the visiting Lions. Marquise Lee, two touchdown catches on the afternoon. Finally, let's get you to Baltimore. Check on the Ravens at home at M&T Bank Stadium. And at the half, they are down to the visiting Dolphins in that one. Josh Rosen has a touchdown pass. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a back and forth first half. Who can put it together in the second half? For the answer, we turn it back over to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. The Bengals set to receive. They have the lead and the football to begin quarter number three. This will be taken in at the one. Then he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. They'll run with Snell to begin the drive. And hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose. Off play action. Kendall. And he fires one that's intercepted. It's Devin Bush, the linebacker, who picks it. And not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for... And he's in. Touchdown, Steelers. On first down, Snell. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. On first down, Kendall. And that's complete. It's green here. Here's second and eight. And that is incomplete. To throw on third down, Kendall. Blitz coming and down he goes. Could do it on this drive. You have to think to yourself that this moment, getting to this spot, it started in the offseason. As well as your team, as well as your unit, head coach, offensive coordinator. We run the football. We give you opportunities. He's taking advantage of it. And when you get this close to the mark, you just hope things don't tighten up, right? You probably want to get there and get it in your rearview mirror. On first and 10, Donaldson. And that's going to be incomplete. The 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. They'll run here with Connor. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. They'll run it now out of the gun. And able to get it across the 20 before they get to it. Throwing on first down. Kendall. Over the middle, hauled in by Campbell. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. On first down, Kendall. Finding Green complete. A good pick up there, 21 yards. On first and 10, Kendall. He's got Green. 
18 yards on that one. Maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. From the gun, Kendall. And yeah, he's going to keep it here. He'll wind up getting right about four. Second and three. Green's open, and he's got it for a Bengal touchdown. In today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right away. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. This is Connor, and he'll be tackled just past the 35 and 14. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Back to throw, Donaldson, but it's brought in by Washington. And he will be taken down. So they'll come up in Bengals territory now with a first and 10 at the 34. Now. Operating from the gun, Donaldson, open man, completes it to Smith-Schuster. Throwing on first down, Donaldson, he'll find Miller, that's complete. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. Getting five after the five-yard completion on first down. Now a draw play, this is counter. And he'll take this down for about four yards, down to the 15. It's on third down tonight. Three for seven so far in this game. They're looking at third and a few inches. Looking to throw. Donaldson. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. They're magnified. Big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. Second and goal. Back to the 8-yard line now. And now whistles and a flag, and I think we got a jump here. Defense. Here's another second and goal, this time from half the distance closer. From the gun, Donaldson. And caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Steelers. They'll run on first down. Snell. Call it a gain of four. On second down, here's a run with Singletary. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his luck. Off the play fake. Kendall. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Starting to move in the right direction. They get the touchdown last drive, then their defense gets him the football back. Yeah, now they have a chance to get the lead if they can put something together here. I'm eager to see how they decide to do it. Back to the air on second down. Donaldson, he'll find Smith-Schuster, that's complete. This quarterback now 12 of 17 through the air as he leads his guys up on first down. Back to throw. Donaldson, that's complete to his running back, Connor. There's a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. And that play going absolutely nowhere. As I like to say play action. Yeah, without a doubt, I thought that was a great spot to call it. Instead, didn't go their way, did it? Now, defense sold out for the run. Worked out well. Two first downs have them up near midfield now on first and ten. Operating from the gun. Donaldson. They'll get that one complete to Connor. And he is tackled. So they'll come up in Bengals territory now with a first and ten at the 37-yard line. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Second and four. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Miles Jack able to record his fifth sack of the season. Dealers with the football as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Throwing on third and long. 
Donaldson. And he'll find Washington. That's complete. As the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 15-yard line. Well, look to throw. It's caught. It's Miller. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken as that clock continues to run. He's back to throw. Well, the two men come together, and it's incomplete. As you and I both know, it's not how you start. It's how you finish. They have a chance to end it right here. Back to throw. And that is incomplete. On first down, Snell. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts. They're going to run again with Snell. Now the Steelers use the second of their three timeouts. Try to run for it with Snell. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. They'll go ahead and take the knee. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. So this one in the win column now for the Cincinnati Bengals. And it wasn't really always pretty. They had their bumps and bruises. Really, both sides did. But they did what they needed to do at home to get the win. Yeah, they really had to grind this one out, didn't they? Because nothing came easy. Every snap was a major league brawl. They had to win at the line of scrimmage, win downfield. They got all those things accomplished. But to win a close one like this, you know, every team wants to be physical. We've heard that a million times, right? But those who are mentally tough, those are the teams that you have to deal with in the playoffs. This was that type of a game.